guys what's up and welcome back to my channel today we're back with another video it's an extreme makeover i redid my daughter's room recently once i had my son we had to do some shifting in our apartment so we swapped the nursery and my daughter's um old room for the room that we are now currently in so if you're new here please be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already and i wanted to get started with a few before clips of what this room looked like let's get started the before i have these little things here and you can tell that this wallpaper is a different color when you don't order wallpaper at the same time it can come in different batches and then you end up with a slightly different print and i had ordered maybe three different rolls and they could not match it was horrible but i lived with it for almost two years now only because i didn't want to take it down and now that i'm redoing the room and this is going to become my daughter's room then I can finally adjust this situation. So I'm gonna try and peel this down. It's a simple peel and stick wallpaper and we'll see how it goes. You looking so good,
So what we're doing is we are disassembling my son's crib. Well, and by we, I mean my parents. We're disassembling the crib. That way we have a fresh slate. The rest of the apartment is in shambles right now. The kids are going crazy. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this out so that we have bring in my daughter's loft bed and do the big portions, whatever that's hard that I can't really accomplish on my own, basically. We're gonna complete and then that way I can get to work on decorating. So it is now the next day and we got so much done. It looks pretty cute as is. I plan on adding a bunch of finishing touches just to make it a little better. The only thing is we're missing a few items. Like we have a corner left with stuff. This in this corner is um, actually like a egg chair hammock type of thing that I plan on hanging from this corner. This lamp is just here in the meantime. And I love this lamp. It was in the, the nursery and I believe it'll still go in the nursery. I plan on getting a cute little lamp to put on the desk under here. Maybe something like a little, a little mushroom type of lamp I had seen. I love this little pendant. It is from Amazon. There's actually a screw there. We're just going to cover it up like that. And it says, Darling, you're magic. I love it. I found it on Amazon. If it's still available, I will link it. Next, what I want to do is I want to add a gallery wall. Starting in this lower half, going up the wall. I found a few prints on Etsy. I can leave it linked down below. It came with so many prints and you can just pick and choose the ones you want. I got them printed. I was going to put them in frames, but being that my daughter likes adding things as she goes i might just tape them up as is and do some type of gallery wall with just posters i have a bunch of things in this corner that i want to unbox and do and i can show you guys as i complete them i had ordered this blanket off of amazon it's that checkered one that everyone has been buying they usually buy the green one or whatever i saw they had a blue and i'm really going for a super colorful theme i wanted to add in some trendy prints i had even seen a rug of this pattern and it was so darling but oh there's my phone i didn't want to buy it because i feel like a rug is more permanent whereas a blanket you can change in and out but this is so cute i love it Here's what the top of the bed is looking like. And I love it. That cute little daisy pillows from Amazon. And then I got this blue to tie it in. I'm really trying to go for an overall colorful theme. I added a candle that I already had. And then I'm going to set up some little organization things that I have for the desk. This little lemon and... um yeah, it's really just lemons and tangerines or whatever. Pillow is old. I've had that. I think I got that at five below. And there's two of them. We have a little flamingo one. I thought it would look cute either in this corner or once we hang the egg chair in this corner. I wanted to make like a little calming nook, greeting nook, whatever you want to call it. And have a bunch of those lounge pillows thrown on the floor too. But we shall see. If not, it looks good in that corner. And now I want to get started on hanging some poster prints. Tell me what you do on a Sunday I I'm tired of all these Friday nights And if we're through, I'll go my way I I'd like it if you stay Hawaii oh. Just up in these shades, the city and fall asleep
that's all I need about two months since I made over this room and it has held up pretty well. Um, the only thing that you can see is that we had put this bookshelf here on the side so that she could store some of her things being that there's not that much storage this way. The posters stayed up in the same format. How the desk stayed. She keeps her things in the corner. The only difference that we added was this hammock chair. She had really wanted one of these. I am so glad that it ended up working out perfectly because she sits in that thing every single day. There was a beige one that I really wanted, but I knew she wouldn't be able to keep it clean. So we opted for the gray and it's working out really nicely. It doesn't get dirty and she's in that thing every single day. Right of the door, this dresser used to be Jackson's and we had the changing table on top. Ideally, I was gonna get her a taller dresser, but this one fits so perfectly and all we did was just declutter the clothes that she did have and it ended up fitting perfectly. For this makeover, I really worked hard to try and just utilize what we already had. I wasn't trying to buy all new things. The loft bed we already had, the desk was already there, we even had this hamper already, we had everything here. We had the dresser, everything that I could reuse, I did, and the only difference was I gave everything a new life, actually designed it, and she loves it. Ideally, I would want to get rid of this, but this is real life and I wanted to show you guys um she added these curtains that she really wanted she wanted to feel like she could close this off when she was at her desk doing homework hanging out on facetime whatever and she had a sleepover and they pulled this eventually i want to just zip tie this down and i think that'll solve the problem but for now this is how it turned out and i'm really happy with it if you guys haven't already please subscribe to my channel please give this video a like or a thumbs up if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video bye